Hey guys, I'm Gavin. We're here on a Saturday at 10 a.m. for rehearsal for The Wiz that we're putting on here at LaPorte High School. Our productions consist of approximately 200 students and probably about 50 adult volunteers who put in about 150 hours um, to put this show together. So, yeah. The when cool you're out in the audience it. and you look on the stage and everything goes real smooth and everything like that and you don't understand what really has to happen until you're backstage. And, and I tell people it's not the adults moving the stuff. It's not the adults making the, the, the curtains go up and down or the drops go up and down. That's all done by kids. All I do is point. That's right. Do this there. And, and then even I don't do a lot of that. I help because there's a, a, a kid, I hate to say that, but there's a student that's the stage manager. I'm just there to help. And uh, it's amazing what they can do. And, and they start, we have people that are freshmen have never pulled a drop in before in their life and by the end of the show they know when to do it how to do it you know at the speed that it has to be done and it's perfection we strive for perfection and I know and I get on them because when it's not a perfection and I say hi what are you doing you know you you have to pull it in at a certain speed and and I had one of the kids actually this year well Mr. Ladd does it really make that big a difference it's down isn't it and I said you don't understand that's not what we, we don't just strive because the set's in place. It's because the set's in place at the best that it can be. The trick of overall life and it, to me, and that's that you're a small part in something so much bigger. Yeah, and, and that's what the, the greatest thing about this program is, is because you can be, and I tell the kids on the side stage, you know what? You're just somebody on the side of the stage that brings the drop up or brings the drop down. But what's the show going to be like if that drop doesn't come in or down? Or worse than that, what happens if the drop comes down at the wrong time? Because guess what? Everybody's going to know that. Just as much of an actor forgets a line, just as much if somebody in the orchestra pit doesn't play the part they're supposed to play, we're all a small part that makes the program what it is. Because it set our expectation and said, we're going to work this hard to get to a great product. But it's not about it's not about those two weekends of shows. It's about that time from uh, dancer auditions to dress rehearsal or tech rehearsal. And all of those pieces that go in, into that in between is about the process of growing people like you and me. Mm -hmm. and, and we just get to have fun uh, doing the performances. And it's sort of a bonus that we had to do for me. But we didn't learn great lessons in the performance we learn great lessons through that entire process of showing up and sweating and being miserable some days and coming in early and not having donuts or, you know, you're looking around like, how, why in the world am I? The, the good example is no Christmas vacations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my family always left to go to Abilene or someplace skiing. I, I didn't get to go skiing once because I gave up. Christmas breaks, I gave up spring breaks. I mean, where else do you find that you have a football player, a band person, all right? Now you can see that on the football field, but now we've got orchestra people, we've got skateboarders, we've got every walk of life. It doesn't make a difference where you're from. It doesn't make a difference what color you are. It doesn't make, any of that doesn't make a difference. All that she asks and all that this program has ever asked is that you give us your best shot and you do what's right to make it where everybody works, and that's what you have. You experience athletes, you experience um, academic people, you experience the nerdy people, the people who you know you wouldn't ever talk to in the hallway. There's hundred, like at least a hundred people that I talk to and wave at now, and I know that existed even though the numbers weren't as large. I know that that was the case in your sense, and we're just a family here, and it's really cool because everyone comes together and we have so much fun together as a group that it really doesn't matter who you are or what your family situation is that you come together as a group. And I think it's really important to note that they're not in this to become great actors. Now a few of them hope to have some kind of entertainment you know down the road but the reality is it teaches them so many life lessons. Like you said the discipline, the um, I know when my, my Jacqueline went off to college for musical theater and one of her professors in her early days says, now y'all need to get 
used to this because you might be here till midnight and she just laughed and <laughs> he said is there something wrong miss green and and she said well no but i came from a high school where midnight was early <laughs> i'm not worried about it. and interestingly enough she went to stephen f austin and he said oh you must be from laporte <laughs> and she said yes i think a, a lot of it has to do with the kids growing up in the community and seeing it and they see either if it's if they made a performance either in the junior high or they grew up in it uh, and they see these kids up there just having a blast and uh, creating something of really high caliber and uh, I've never met a kid that didn't really know what he was getting into when he got in here yeah. uh, either through talk and then so then the word spreads well you need to come do this you'll have a blast um, I think, I think kids want to be pushed and, uh, and we push them and we demand, we expect them to perform. We expect them to do what we ask them to do. And I think a lot of kids really do want that. Yeah. Success rate of the kids that have been a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty high, yeah. you know, and not in theater. Yeah. You know, that's never been a focus. Mm -hmm. It's never been a focus to turn out great actors and actresses. You know. Going for professional actors here. You know, a lot of people, I remember Kelly was so cute, he came Nelson. He said, you know, Ms. Angel, the one thing I really wish that you had taught me when I was in high school that would have helped me so much in college is that we had done more Shakespeare. And I said, well, Kelly, let me tell you something. I wasn't doing this program for you. And out of all the kids I taught the whole time you were in high school, maybe two or three of you went in theater. I taught this program to teach. Theater is a tool for me to teach the life lessons. It's not the end result. And I think that's the way I approach it. It's a tool to teach those things that will help you have a more successful life. And